good morning today we are going to see about uh, thermal uh, uh, like economic load dispatch of n thermal generating unit with considering the transmission losses okay in the previous class we have seen about the economic load dispatch of n thermal generating unit without considering the transmission losses but practically speaking without transmission losses it won't be there okay definitely some losses might be there losses uh, like in the transmission line definitely losses might be there your uh, uh, transmission companies okay transmission corporation or transmission companies so how they are claiming in the sense they are claiming like uh, um, we are having the transmission network previously they claim like 18 percentage transmission losses uh, now they are claiming like uh, 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 and after 10 years they claim like 15 percentage after that uh, they are claiming like 12 percentage uh, we have reduced uh, up to 12 percentage uh, and uh, so, um, like uh, um, 10 percentage also sometimes uh, uh, we are planning to reduce to 10 percentage also 10 percentage means uh, say for example 100 megawatt you are generating means um, 10 megawatt you are getting loss uh, as a losses transmission network losses because um, you have to carry that transmission um, uh, like you have to carry that power from a remote end okay so where your thermal generating station will be located uh, not, not uh, uh, beside your home or uh, something like that it might be situated um, at uh, like a, uh, 300 kilometers apart from the city okay 200 kilometers apart from the city uh, so uh, it has to uh, travel for 200 kilometers if you take the radial distance also transmission uh, uh, distance also it might be coming around 200 kilometers like that okay so 200 kilometers it has to travel to the in a particular load dispatch center and uh, again to the uh, like uh, substation and again to the your uh, distribution transformer then distribution transformer to the uh, your house so how much uh, it is traveling like uh, uh, 200 kilometers from the load dispatch again uh, some th 30 kilometers to a substation uh, th 10 20 kilometers to a substation again from the substation to your home um uh, around uh, five kilometers so uh, maybe 230 uh, kilometers it, it might be traveling um and it, it is reaching your home so definitely there might be the transmission network losses okay so in the so problem sometimes uh, uh, what we uh, we are going to do is we are um, assuming that uh, there is no uh, transmission network losses uh, the system is uh, 100 percentage efficient so no um maybe for problem for uh, um like uh, solving uh, for a better understanding we might be ne neglecting certain losses but uh, practically speaking definitely some network losses might be there so here the same story same story whatever we we have um, studied in our uh, economic load dispatch of n thermal um, um, generating system with the with the without considering losses same story uh, consider the uh, n boilers okay b1 b2 up to bn uh, the fuel cost of uh, first uh, uh, boiler is f1 fuel cost of second boiler is f2 and the fuel cost of nth boiler is fn and the boiler uh, number one is here b1 b2 and up to bn okay so here uh, we are giving the enormous amount of heat uh, from the boiler um, okay superheated steam superheated steam uh, is being produced and uh, okay uh, from the furnace we are giving to the boiler from um, from the boiler we are getting superheated steam uh, that is uh, being heated to the turbine okay turbine t1 uh, so the turbine is getting rotated and uh, it is being coupled with your generator this turbine also many uh, um, things are there many concepts are there in this turbine if you want uh, a better understanding of uh, this uh, uh, working of thermal generating station you just go through my previous classes uh, uh, some animated uh, uh, videos also uh, i have uh, with the animated uh, videos also i have explained so just go through the previous classes and uh, you just come to um, you, are, uh, you you have to uh, you will come to a very better understanding of this particular uh, 
uh, thing, uh, turbine and all. Okay, so the turbine is being coupled with your generator G1. Okay, and uh, now the transmission network all, uh, losses also uh, will be adding into the account. Okay, P losses. Say, for example, um, from the transmission, uh, 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 like a first uh, generating unit, we'll have some. 10 percentage second unit will have some 12 percentage third will have some 15 percent like that uh, uh, some transmission network losses also might be there okay so uh, sometimes if it is very nearer to the your uh, load load dispatch center then uh, the transmission network losses might be somewhat reducing if it is farther than then uh, transmission network losses might be more uh, like that so um, what they will do is uh, nearby nearby uh, generating station they will take nearby tran, tran, uh, like thermal generating station they will take and based on that uh, uh, they will utilize that particular uh, demand okay they, they will utilize that particular load like that uh, uh, they, they did okay so nearby uh, so here also uh, then boiler b2 uh, that is being connected to the turbine 2 generator 2 uh, power generation p2 and being connected and uh, again the network losses Similarly, uh, um, FN. So network losses that is uh, uh, satisfying the common load. Okay. So in the transmission network losses might be of more. As I said, uh, overall transmission um, uh, losses uh, uh, I told before, like uh, 18 percent, 15, 12, and 10, like that. Okay. Um, uh, 12. Uh, I think 12 is the maximum uh, uh, thing uh, they have reached. Uh, they are uh, uh, slowly they are planning to reduce that to 10 percentage um, let's see how uh, how they are going to do with that uh, then um, here um, uh, the same formulation uh, so what is the objective function of the, the economic load dispatch uh, economic load dispatch uh, um, the, to minimize the total fuel cost is the objective function of the economic load dispatch with the uh, with the losses okay so that is a, a f f of t that is total uh, fuel cost that is total fuel cost that is total fuel cost is uh, fuel cost function of uh, mm, uh, generating unit one fuel for cost function of generator unit two uh, uh, then uh, fuel cost function of generating unit three up to nth generating unit okay so the total fuel cost okay so ft total fuel cost is equal to summation i is equal to one to n fi of pi that is the total fuel cost okay so here what is the constraint in the sense the same constraints as we have seen in the um, uh, previous thing uh, like without losses here the losses is being added that's all okay so here uh, there uh, generation is equal to only demand okay so demand is nothing but load so here generation is equal to demand plus losses okay that's all that is load plus losses okay so nothing uh, more than that so um, that is the generation that is uh, pi okay pi is the generation so that is equal to lo uh, load that is demand plus uh, de demand also you can write or load also you can write both are same only okay so load plus losses okay mm, uh, that is equal to the um, equal to zero okay so in uh, if you take the, the, the uh, load is more so load plus loss minus uh, summation i is equal to 1 to n p a is equal to 0 okay we can also uh, uh, assume this term as phi like that also you can assume okay so here uh, next uh, uh, framing the lagrange's function after uh, you know what is objective uh, the objective function is clearly written then uh, um, then uh, uh, clearly written here then the constraints also clearly defined over here okay the theory you, you have to um, write uh, uh, like uh, same as like in the uh, like previous case like uh, without losses same theory also you can write here but uh, here the losses also added so here you need to add that uh, that one also next after that framing the lagrange's function what is uh, lagrange's function already i have explained lagrange's function is equal to objective function plus some constant into constraint so uh, L is equal to FT, to, uh, minimizing uh, that uh, total fuel cost FT plus uh, the um, some constant that is lambda into this constraint that is uh, we have taken as phi. Okay, so here we have taken as as phi. So same phi we have uh, we have taken here also. Okay, so after substituting phi, so it is goes like this. Uh, that is L is equal to 
f i of p i plus lambda into this uh, constraints okay load plus loss minus summation i is equal to 1 to n uh, p n okay this uh, this thing also we have added over here okay so here uh, um, as we did in the same previous case uh, the demand is more or load is more here so we are uh, neglecting the, uh, the load here we are neglecting the load here as the, the load is more than the generation we are neglecting the uh, load here okay so here now we are uh, going to find out uh, after the framing the lagrange's function what is the next step we are going to find out the um, we are minimizing the total fuel cost we are going to find out the small change in the uh, total fuel cost based on the uh, load how it is varying like that we are going to find out the very small change okay so uh, for very small change what we have to do is we have to differentiate and equate it to zero so we are using do do l divided by do pi is equal to so we are differentiating uh, with respect to pi okay so do l divided by do pi is equal to um, uh, so here dfi divided by dpi plus lambda into here again uh, this is also very small change so we are taking do p loss divided by do pi okay do p loss divided by do pi minus here this term will become one okay minus one okay so that is equals to zero for the simplification uh, for, for, by uh, simplification again uh, so we can take like this okay we are taking the common terms outside uh, we are multiplying that is do l divided by do pi is equal to zero that is equating it to zero by by further simplification we are taking like this that is dfi divided by dpi is equal to lambda minus lambda into do p uh, loss divided by do pi so by taking the common terms outside that is lambda into 1 minus do p loss divided by do pi okay so 1 minus do p loss divided by do pi this we are taking the equation number 2 whereas this uh, the, this uh, constraint we are taking the equation number 1 Okay, so this is the final formulation for economic load dispatch of the thermal generating units with the considering transmission losses. That is DFI divided by DPI is equal to lambda into 1 minus dou P loss divided by dou P I. 1 minus dou P loss divided by dou P I. So this we are taking the equation number 2. Whereas in the previous case how it is like, so DFI divided by DPI is equal to lambda. Like that we have done. So here with the considering losses this term also added that is 1 minus dou p loss divided by dou p i so this equation we are taking as equation number 2 so equation 1 and 2 are known as coordination equation coordination equation okay uh, so up to this you need to explain up to this you need to explain so in in between some wordings also you have to add theory also you have to add so here only derivation is there so theory, uh, as I said, as I explained, you need to add uh, for uh, this also and the, that also, that question also. With the losses also, you need to write the theory, uh, definition, everything you need to write. And uh, constraints also, you, you, you need to define everything you need to define and you need to solve the, that. Uh, you need to derive this particular um, uh, okay derivation, okay economic load dispatch of n-thermal uh, generating units with considering losses.